My name is Simeon Baker and I'm the Director of Mission for the Baptist Union of Wales. And we're, we work with around 300 uh, churches located all the way uh, across Wales. And we're really excited this year to be partnering with Christian Aid. Uh, and when we uh, look to launch uh, an appeal like this, we want to do more than just give money. We want to inspire our churches to think globally and to act in tangible ways that will make a difference and to be informed so that they can pray. We've all heard about Zimbabwe in the news over the years and some of the challenges that they face there. And one of the reasons that we decided to work with Christian Aid to partner with the BRACT project is because of the way it really impacted its local community. And there are lots of crossovers with us here in Wales. Many of our churches and our communities are small and they're rural. Some of our communities are in valley towns where there's uh, high numbers of uh, unemployment and uh, poverty as well. But we want to encourage our churches because we, we know that uh, even our small actions can add up to make a, a big difference. Uh, and BRACT does that on the local ground through all sorts of different ways uh, in Zimbabwe. I can remember when we were talking with Christian Aid staff here in Wales about how can we best uh, frame this campaign? How can we uh, encourage our churches to engage with it in a way that will inspire them? Uh, and we came up together with the name Talents of Hope. And that really seemed to, to sum up well that what the BRACT project is all about. Just learning how we can all use our talents to make a big difference. In Zimbabwe, in Zimbabwe a BRACT just empowers people to develop uh, their own skills, to build capacity and resilience, uh, to help them alleviate poverty. Some of those uh, projects are around uh, using talents of welding, construction. They might be making shoes with, with leather or, or bags. Uh, others are using carpentry skills or are uh, processing food in order to sell. All of these talents are there and they're just encouraged and enabled to empower people to alleviate poverty with the dignity of helping themselves. <laughs> One of the things that's really enriched this project and this relationship is getting to know some of the staff uh, around BRACT in Zimbabwe. And it's been just a, a wonderful gift from God to uh, meet up together online and just to hear and to share stories with each other about our different contexts. And those stories that we hear are often stories of, of hope and they fuel our prayer. And it does make a difference, doesn't it? When you know the people you're praying for, or when you hear their passion, and when you really understand something of the situation that they're in, and that's inspiring, we can support them in our prayers. And that really challenges our churches here in Wales as well, because it helps us to understand our context as we reflect on the context of our friends in Zimbabwe. As we hear about the impact of, of climate change upon the, the harvest and, and how the drought is impacting food production, and we see our own weather systems here impacting uh, our own uh, economy and our own uh, situation in Wales. But it also helps us to reflect on how our actions uh, can impact on others. 
And so we too are inspired to, to think about climate change and, and the actions that we need to take in order to stand alongside those who are suffering. And so our heart is to walk with our friends in Zimbabwe and to learn together. And one of the things that we're going to be doing in order to challenge all of our churches to, to give in particular is to walk together, to walk in the steps of, of those that we want to support and love and care for. And so many of our churches will be, be uh, walking uh, across Wales, undertaking journeys together, particularly with our friends in, in mind, in order to, uh, to raise money. But whenever we do meet with our colleagues and friends in Zimbabwe, one of the overriding things that stays with me is that sense of hope that they have. In the middle of what seems to be a really tough situation with political and economic instability. As they've shared with us about the recent cholera outbreak and the need for vaccinations to reach some of the rural areas, they remain hopeful for change. And that's helped to remind us that we need to do more than just give, but we also need to be working and acting for, to see that the systemic change that we need, to be part of the, the bigger solution, to raise our voices, to draw attention to injustice and inequality. And so that we too are encouraged to, to write to our politicians who will be seeking our vote in, in a few months to come. And we need to say, as God's people, as a church, this needs to stop. And we need to support and reach our hands to those in needs. It's been a, a privilege to uh, walk and to get to know our friends in Zimbabwe, but also for our churches in Wales to, to share and understand something of that global shared story. And together we want to use our talents of hope uh, to make a difference. And so together we are inspired and we want to give and we want to act and we want to pray. Thank you.